Hi, welcome to another edition of Math with Mr. Douglas. Today, we are going to be looking at systems of equations. There are three ways that you can be solving systems, but today, we're going to look at how to solve by graphing. In the challenge section, we'll also be taking a look at inequalities and what that means to solving systems. Here we go. Welcome to the wonderful world of systems of equations. This is going to be a piece of cake for everybody. Maybe a chocolate cake. I love chocolate cake with, with chocolate icing. You definitely want to go chocolate chocolate when you're having cake. Okay, so um, systems of equations is just going to build on our prior knowledge of graphing straight lines. So the first thing that we have to remember is y equals mx plus b and remembering that this is your y intercept and of course m is your slope. With those two things you can graph any straight lines and when we're talking about a system we're looking for where do two lines cross? At what point? At what point do they cross? And wherever they cross is considered the solution. So I'll just give you an example of what this kind of looks like. So here's our graph. And let's just say we have two lines. One line that goes like this. And we have another line. Maybe that goes like this. Okay, so we've got two lines. The solution to this system is right here. Right there. So whatever that is. And to understand, that means, and let's just say, let's make up some, some coordinates. Let's just say that was 2, comma 1. That means if you put in 2 for x and 1 for y into both equations, the equation would be true. So that's what we're trying to find here for systems of equations. Now, there are three ways that you can go and solve systems. So the three ways that you can go and solve, the three ways. The first way is going to be graphing, which is today's lesson. The second way is going to be by uh, substitution. And that will be in an upcoming video. And the third way is going to be by something that we call elimination. Now, undoubtedly, I'll give you a little bit of a, a preview. Students, children, they love doing systems by elimination. Graphing is uh, quick and easy, but it only works when you have pretty numbers. Whenever you have decimals or fractions as solutions, it doesn't work very well. And substitution, mm, most, most students don't end up using substitution, but you have to understand the philosophy of substitution to really have a good grasp of everything. So that's where we're kind of headed, just to give you a little bit of a preview. So today is all about graphing, and we're going to use those pretty numbers. And here we go. So I'm going to get um, two equations, and my first equation is going to be y equals x minus 2, and my other equation is going to be y equals negative 1 half x plus 4. So those are my two equations. Here is my graph. Now you'll notice those two equations are already in y equals mx plus b. If they are not, then you always want to go and do that first. So let's go and go and graph uh, our first equation. So y equals x minus 2. So we're going to start, obviously, where that minus 2 is. And that's our, our b, our y-intercept. So we're going to start right here. And the slope for this one is you know 1. So rise 1, run 1. So it's going to go like... I don't know, something like this. And then you're going to try and draw a really, 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 really straight line. Having a ruler is key. Hey, that was pretty straight. I usually don't draw very straight lines. So <clears throat> um, there we go. There's some other lines. I'm going to go and do my uh, red <laughs> equation. 
So I'm going to start at positive 4. So start 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. It goes there. This one's going to go down 1 and across 2. So down 1 and across 2. Again, you're going to try and draw a really, really straight line. And woo, those lines do cross. And they cross right here, so I'm going to put that in blue. So this is the solution. And OK, so obviously I'm just kind of eyeballing this. I actually already know the answer. The answer is 4, 2. So I'm saying that 4, 2 is a solution for both equations. Again, what does that mean? That's x and that's y. So what does that mean? <clears throat> well, that means for this one, if I substitute 2 for y and 4 for x, that this will become true. Is that true? Does 2 equal 2? Absolutely. And what about for the other equation? So for this one, if I substitute 2 for y and I substitute 4 for x, does that work? What's negative 1 half times 4? Negative 2. What's negative 2 plus 4? 2. Does 2 equal 2? Absolutely. Yay! So this is a proper solution. Do you need to go and check every single time? Mm, not necessarily. You can be confident that your math is right. Uh, should you go and check? Well, if you want to be 100% positive, you definitely can. And some teachers actually might make you do that. I think you should just do the math correctly first and be confident. Um, if you're working on a space station, I would hope you would go and check. If you're building uh, the next Empire State Building, please go and check. I don't want things falling over. But for your everyday math worksheets, just be confident that you did it right. Maybe on a test you might want to check, though. Uh, next one. Let's take a look at one more. And hopefully you're kind of saying, like, oh, oh, I kind of I understand that. That's pretty cool. Um, so you're just basically going graphing two lines. Now, if you're still struggling on how to graph a line, well, then you need to go back and do some more work, right? Uh, go watch one of the older videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make me a millionaire. Uh, quarter X. I think I have over 60 subscribers now. It's very exciting. Uh, a quarter X plus four. And the other one is going to be negative three halves X uh, minus three. So again, we'll get a nice little happy green graph, a little lime green graph. Boom. Something like that. Uh, definitely, you know, use graph paper when you're doing solving by graphing. Make sure you have a straight, uh, okay. <laughs> make sure you have a straight ruler, because those, those non-straight rulers really aren't that helpful. So I'm going to go and graph this. I'm going to start at 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm going to start at 4. Um, it says it rises 1 and it runs 4. So I'm going to rise 1. I'm going to run over here 4 like that. I'm going to draw my line. Oh, I missed that spot. That was pretty good, though. Now this one, I'm going to start at negative 3, way down here. I'm going to start down there. I'm going to go down 3 more and go across 2. Um, you know what I'm going to do? Watch this. This is pretty cool. I'm going to, I'm going to put the minus sign on the 2. Is this still the same number? Absolutely. But this is going to be easier for me to graph. Because now I'm going to rise 3. 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to go backwards 2. 1, 2. Like that. Does that make sense what just happened there? I hope so. And I'm going to go like this. With the sound effects. It's pretty exciting. And then I'm going to say my solution is right here. Now, ooh, I'm a little bit, my, my picture wasn't that great. But the solution is negative 4, 3. Negative 4, 3. That's basically where it goes. If I was actually using graph paper and a, and a nice straight ruler, I would have definitely hit that. It might be a little bit low in my, my estimation here, but it's negative 4, 3. Um, that's the solution. I would go and check, plug those in, and you will find out that those are the solutions. So that's solving by graphing for systems of equations. Now, my favorite system, of course, is the Dagobah system, but in the challenge section, we're going to take a look at the systems of inequalities. Let's get right to it, shall we? Matt, we do. Mm. That's, my, that's my Yoda impression. It was really bad. Okay, let's do math. 
Now we're going to be taking a look at solving systems of inequalities. So an inequality is where you're going to be having one of those like greater than signs. And let's just go and do a little quick review. So if I'm going to go and graph this one, I'd start at 2. And then my slope is rise 1, run 1. So it's right there. I would use a dotted line because this is showing that it's not a solution is not on the line because it's greater than. And now I'd go and test a point. So I'm testing a point. I would test 0, 0 because that's the easiest one to test. So I'd put 0 there. So I'd say is 0 greater than 0 plus 2 is 2. Is 0 bigger than 2? Absolutely not. So this side is false. And if this side is false, that means this side is true. So that means I'm going to shade the true side. I always shade the true side. So what this means is any point, any point that I choose in here, this point or this point or this point, will satisfy this equation. Just to show you, if I chose negative 4, 3, that's like negative 4, 3, right? So that point is negative 4, 3. Does that work? So I put negative 4 here, and I put 3 here. So is 3 bigger than negative 4 plus 2? Yes, it is. It's true. I can choose any of these points here, any of them, and it'll, it'll make the equation true. So that's just graphing a, a linear inequality. So what we're going to do now is do linear um, systems of inequalities, which means you're graphing two lines, and you're finding out where does the shading overlap? And where the shading overlaps is your solution. Let's get to it. Here's our two equations. Uh, we got y is greater than uh, negative x plus 1. And let's go blue. Uh, y is greater than or equal to negative. I should make it positive. Let's make it positive. I'll make it negative. Um, negative x. Uh, minus 2, like that. Okay, so let's go and graph these. I'll use green for my graph. I use a lot of green, I guess. So we're trying to find out where do the two lines shading intersect. So let's start with our, our first equation here. So I'm going to start at positive 1. The slope is negative 1, 1, so let's go down 1 and across 1. And it's going to be a dotted line. I'm going to go and test 0, 0. Let's do all my testing in red. So this one's nice and easy. 0 greater than 1. Is 0 greater than 1? Nope. That means this is false. And uh, this part is uh, going to be true. So this starts to get a little bit complicated. So I'm going to go and shade this. That's exciting. Now for the blue one, I'm going to go and graph that. Start at negative 2. This one goes down and runs 1. Whoa, the slopes are the same. But this one's going to have a solid line. And I'm going to go and test again. I'm going to test in red and say, is 0 greater than or equal to negative 2. So is this true? Yes, it is. So this is going to be kind of weird, isn't it? Um, so here we go. Now, what's your solution? What part is shaded by both? Well, is this area here shaded by both? Nope. So it's not a solution. The solution is all of this stuff. So this is what you would shade in like crazy. That's the solution there. <laughs> that was fun. Lots of colors. If you have multiple colors for these questions, totally helps. Totally helps. Next one, we'll do um, another one to kind of make it maybe look a little bit nicer. Uh, y is greater than negative x plus 3. And let's do y is greater than x minus 1. Here's our lime green graph. 
here. There's our graph a little bit. And there we go. Okay. And actually, let me go and I think colors are really helpful for this. So let's make the other equation just to be in blue. So it's nice and obvious what's happening. I think it was x minus 1. Okay. So let's just do the blue one first. Why not? Let's start at negative 1 and do a rise and run. So it goes like this. It's going to be a dotted line. Do, 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 um, there's arrows there, of course. I'm going to go and do testing. So 0, 0, 0. And is 0 greater than negative 1? It sure is. So I'm going to go and graph that. Let's go back to our first equation. Let's start at 3. And let's go down 1 and run 1. Again, it's going to be a line like that. I'm going to test 0, 0. Is 0 greater than 3? Nope. So this part here is going to be true. Let's just make sure we do this. Just this part. And you've got to ask yourself, what is the common shaded area? It's going to be this stuff. So you're going to kind of shade this. Again, having multiple colors is really important. As a teacher, you're looking for the, the multiple shades and then um, the darker shading, usually what kids end up using. So um, there you have it, graphing uh, systems of inequalities. A lot of shading, have some colors, and you'll be absolutely fine. Hey, here's a fun, here's a fun trivia for you. You can see that, obviously, we're in the Dagobah system. That's why we use the pictures of, of, of Yoda and that kind of stuff. Um, who is everybody who shows up on Dagobah? There are four main characters that are shown in episode five in Dagobah. Five, if you consider R2-D2. Um, but who are the four major characters that show up? Oh, tell me when you see me uh, next time in the hallways or in class, or send me a message uh, via email, and um, I'll send you a virtual prize if you can figure that out. Till next time, have a good day. All right, hopefully you have a good idea of how systems works and how to go and solve it by graphing and what inequalities do when you have system situations. Till next time, have a great day.